day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvi tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. You seem strangely familiar. Perhaps we have met in another life, but most likely I have a common face. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the tombs of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mirror. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. 
Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Greetings! I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. My riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide him! Hide him! Pig headed. <laughs> ha! A perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and a perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. All hidden ones practice this same ritual. As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes, 
You remember the medallion you took from Trotsky's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randy about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this. Hello, and well met. May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? pieces are good, but that one's very good. Ready for battle. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Be well, my friend.
this we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. at your side, all will fear our wrath. To me, warrior, let gold and glory be our meat. Tell me about what you do here. We're fishermen, my granddad and me, and we can help with anything you need. Bring us fish you find out there, and we'll pay you for them. But if I'm being honest, we can't do a thing until we have a place to work. If you've got time, we'd love it if you could build something. I'll see you later, friend. Goodbye! Can you remind me what you do here? I buy and sell all manner of items. What's more, I am connected to a wide network of other traders. Meaning I have access to nearly everything you could want. Right here. But I cannot do much of anything if I don't have a place to work. If you can build a place for me, I can get started right away. I have to go. See you soon. Always a pleasure, Eivor. What is it you do here again? When you hunt any animal, bring it here for a trade. And if you get something really special, I'm happy to mount it. That said, though, I can't do much until you build me a place to work. It won't do tanning hides on makeshift tables and dirt. I must take my leave. So long. Until next time.
thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area, and once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course, and your help, if possible. A good idea. I'll join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around, just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. You really Beautiful terrain, and the animals to here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. Compare. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved perfect. on. Quick, Humans clever, upset the balance of nature, call. and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. This way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah. Smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers, from further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. See those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So, your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I am impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! 
I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. Should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't... Oh. oh, goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well... That worked out. This is grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks. I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is.
Wake, my love, wake. Soldiers at our door. They've come for you. For us. Let them take me. I have no more fear. Let me air my wrath in the courts. They'll kill you before they let you speak. I'll appeal to the council. They must know what the mad one has done. They're upon us. Now is not the time. Closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got the data. Sending it now. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me, for inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. <clears throat> you see, flighting is simple, so hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? All this is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Place we needed. Dove and I have some new designs. I would like to see what you have in stock.
All right, if you're done. I'll see you later, friend. So long. Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. You are an excellent rider, Eivor. Do you need anything else? What have you got for me today? How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Ruin? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. I'm off. Be well, friend. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. I am Octavian Claudius Britannicus, a collector of Roman relics. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need only look to the greatest empire the world has ever known. Yes, I've seen their great ruins. Always impressive. But you have not seen them restored to their former glory, and I can help. Of course, I will need a place to store my collection. I'll build you something when I can. Have patience. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Valley, Eivor. What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. 
That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Valka, I see. What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day! And who is that fellow? Octavian. A strange man. I think you'll like him. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Oh, Orlog. I know this game well. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let us play. Straight and to the point. May the best hand win.
This will do. Go easy on me, will you? This victory will be mine. This will do.
defeat is imminent. Go easy on me, will you? This will do. God's favored your hand today. Shall we go again? That is enough Orlok for now. You look like you know a thing or two about Daris. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sumbi. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We'll be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl and I will be ready for the raids ahead. While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I would like to reorganize the crew. Found who you needed? I have to go. See you soon. What's going on? Across the river! The animals have lost their senses! <laughs> My very pig chewed through her fence and plunged into the river. She tried to swim across. Oh, I have seen crows attacking one another. Perhaps this is serious. It is concerning. My raven may see better. Susan! Self has lost course. Something must be done. Do you think we are in danger? I will look into it.
Vader is this. England. Odd. Some locations are marked.
to open this. 